Hi, my name is Lawrence, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how an Atom Mini can help you as a gamer. Atom Mini is a multi source switcher that lets you stream your gameplay and at the same time connect your high quality cameras for you to be able to show it to your subscribers or to your friends or to whoever's watching your channel. And let me show you how. Atom Mini comes with four HDMI inputs. And in our setup, we have connected our Blackmagic Pocket Camera to one of the HDMI sources. We also connected our gaming console. In this case, it's a PS4. And I also connected my laptop for me to be able to switch to my view so you can see how things are done here and there. Atom Mini also has an HDMI out for monitoring and recording purposes. And in our case, we connect it to a HyperDeck recorder and Loopout goes to our monitor for us to monitor whatever we're recording. It has a USB-C output that's connected to the computer. That is your webcam output. And whatever you switch between your four sources, Twitch will just look at it as a webcam. It's that simple. Let me show you the software side of it. There are a lot of ways of doing this. And this time, I'm gonna show you one of the ways. And you know, if you use it, and if you have other ways of doing it, it might also work. So this is the easiest way of doing it, in our opinion. So first up, install OBS to your system. And once you open OBS, this is your OBS. I'm gonna switch to it. And from here, all I have to do is, in one of the scenes, I have to create another scene, okay? and I hit plus in my sources and I'm gonna assign a video capture device and I hit okay. Once I hit okay, you will see black magic design right away. So I'm gonna set this so high so I can get the full resolution. Click okay and then from here, now you go to your Twitch account. So from here under twitch.tv, I'm just gonna pause this guy right here for a while and then on the top right, you will see Creator Dashboard. And from Creator Dashboard, under the Stream Manager, go to your Preferences, go to Channel, and then you see a Primary Stream Key right here. All you have to do is copy that. Once you copy that, you go back to your OBS, and from OBS, you go to your Settings, and under Stream, you select Twitch as your service right here, and then from your stream key, all you have to do is um, paste whatever you copied from Twitch, and then you hit OK. Now, if I send this to my program and then hit Start Streaming, what's happening now is if I go to my Twitch, if I go to my Stream Manager again, it will take a while, and then once it goes live, then you're live. So now I can switch between my camera and my Twitch output um, and other sources inside my Twitch. Now I have my camera, I have my, uh, my PS4 right here. I'll go back to my OBS. So now I can switch between different sources. All right, so that's it now. Inside my PlayStation, I, I'm just gonna open this NBA 2K18 right here. Now, one of the benefits of having an Atom Mini is you'll be able to, you know, uh, do a picture in picture. So, of course, you wanna stream your gameplay, but you also want to stream your face or your camera. So, what you do is under your Atom, there is a function called Upstream Key we're in, I can do a DVE, and I can name my fill source, in this case, the camera. So now what I'll do is, from my hardware, I just have to press or activate the picture-in-picture, picture, and then now I have my picture-in-picture picture right here. Now I can select where I want to position my, my, my camera, and now I'll just turn this on, I'll just play now, and then now for now okay okay it's recording so now I'm actually streaming this if I look at my stream preview in twitch of course there's a bit of you know a delay because they're gonna encode it and then they're gonna stream it so we're basically throwing it to twitch servers 
But if I look at my OBS, I can have a real-time view of what's happening. So right now, I'm going to start my gameplay. Remember, latency or delay in streaming in Twitch or other streaming services relies on different factors. Factors like your internet speed, your upload speed, your download speed, and your viewers download speed, of course. And, um, you know, once you are looking at your Twitch stream preview, you're going to expect a bit like a 10 or 20 second of delay, of course, because what they do is, what you normally do is you are throwing the stream to Twitch servers. They're going to process it, of course. They're going to look at it and then they start streaming it. So it's not, you know, but what's, in, what's really important there is that the audio and video will be um, synced and that's, that's what you're interested from. So the game has started. So what I'm doing now is, let's say, I'm gonna talk about my gameplay. I have this guy Westbrook, and then gave it to, gave it back to Westbrook. Ah, no, Adams, and then yeah, and then boom. I'm not really a gamer, but you get the point. Now the purpose of again this discussion is to show you that how Atom Mini can help players like you to to have a more dynamic and stunning live production. So uh, again, in, in your gameplay, you can switch between a full view of your um, full view of your play, or if you want to switch to your view right here, you can do that. Of, okay, don't forget you're still playing, or you can just do a picture in picture so you can see um, your camera. You can stream your camera together with your gameplay. And now Golden State has a seven point lead. So before, before it gets really messy out there again i would like to thank you for watching and if you have any other questions with atom mini or how to set up your twitch account or how to to stream to whatever cdn you want to stream to you know where to find us again thank you for watching